Welcome back to Deck 2's Weekly. I'm your host, Dave. We're going to do another unboxing today. A little bit smaller product, but I think it's still pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm a gamer guy. I've been gaming since I don't remember when. I think I was born gaming at some point. I'm not sure. But certain games always have, have, have the themed around products around them always been really, really cool. One of the games that I played, I think came out about a year ago. Yeah, last year, what it was, was Starfield. Bethesda game. Everybody loves it for the most part. A lot of bugs, very glitchy. Should have been a multiplayer game, but they kept it as a single player. I don't know why, but the one thing I did find out about this, there were a few products out there that were Starfield themed. We happen to have two of them. One of them we're going to do an unboxing of today. Nothing major, just a small, but I do like this. I do like the company that, that uh, made this, which is NZXT. Um, Although one thing I will say is their packaging, which is typical NZXT packaging, I wish it was a little better. And yeah, mine got a little tear on the here. That's what happens when Amazon ships your product in a bag for you. Thank you, Amazon. So what do we got here? Let's do a quick unboxing of this. Not gonna get it long and drawn out, but this is a pretty cool thing. I have not opened this. I have not looked at it yet. So here we go. Okay. Well. Basic packaging, not too bad. Let's see, okay, we'll pull it out of the box. Oh, here we go. Oh, I like the braided cable for the mouse. Let's set that to the side. Nothing else in the box. I'll turn that over, we'll close this because we'll save it. It's an NZXT Lift 2 from Star by Starfield, or, or themed by Starfield. Um, lightweight design, 8,000 hertz polling rate, optical switches, 26,000 DPI sensor, uh, and I'll throw the specs up on the screen too, so you'll be able to see that, but this is actually pretty neat. Um, so yeah, neat little box. I like the blue on this, um, the Velcro that they have around here. Hold on, we gotta get this out though. That is freaking gorgeous. I like that. Oh, is that, that is pretty slick. Oh, that's the peel. That's the peel right there. Okay. This is cool. Hollow mouse back makes it really, really light. Optical sensor on it. Um, two side buttons. I like the star field. That is a nice silk screen. It's not a sticker. Uh, left button, of course, because we got to label that, of course, because we don't know what that is. Um, Track wheel, center button here. Decent clicky noise, you can probably hear that. Let's see here. Okay, I have to pull these off. I don't like these staying on. So we'll pull that off there. Decent cable. Got a good length to it. Let's see if it lights up. I just happen to have a USB extension here, so. Let's see what happens when we plug it in. I want to get that there. Absolutely nothing. Oh, come on. I thought this was going to have some type of lighting on it. Oh, well. Maybe this USB extension is a little bit too long. No, it's working. But I don't have, I can't see the optical sensor. Oh, well. Anyway, um, NZXT, love their products. Like how they do their stuff. Very, very nice little mouse here. I love the colors on it. I'd like to see more Starfield stuff out there. Um, hopefully they will. Um, but again, this hollow back on it is actually really, really nice. Um, I'm not used to using mice this light, but again, I don't think we're gonna need something stupid crazy in, in Starfield, so. We'll see. Um, let me know what your thoughts are of this on everybody. Hopefully people have one of these. Let me know. It, it wasn't that hard to find it uh, as an average price. You know, $59.99 I think it was. Let me know what everybody thinks about it. Leave your comments down below. I'll leave the link in the description uh, where I picked it up from. And uh, let me know if you got one. And uh, if you did, what do you think of it? Thanks everybody.